What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about eBay dropshipping and if it's still worth it in 2019. Specifically, the truth about eBay dropshipping. Today we're going to be touching on four main points that I think are going to help you guys decide whether or not you want to continue your journey with eBay dropshipping. For, drop shipping. for me, I'm going to continue it just to make some money on the side because it still does work in the fact that you can make money, but in the long run, it's not really worth it. First reason that I'm going to talk about profit margins. The profit margins for eBay dropshipping are slowly getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. And the reason for this is the competition, first off, for most suppliers, the most used one would be Amazon, then Walmart and places like that. The profit margins are going down because the competition is huge, even for items that you wouldn't think would have a lot of competition there is because what you have is these drop shippers who don't really care about the stores and they have automated things that list thousands upon thousands of items taking it from these other people and they get it at a very low price because they're clearly doing something better where they're finding ways to save money so is it doable and is it oh can you make profit margins on ebay in 2019 drop shipping yeah you can make good ones too but overall, your profit margins are always just going to be slim because you can't mark them up. eBay is a marketplace where people are usually looking for the lowest price. You can be priced higher if there's not a lot of competition. But the majority of listings want the lowest price. That's what buyers want. That's what eBay is for. The second point that I want to talk about is the restrictions and policies with eBay. Technically, in 2019, dropshipping is not even allowed on eBay. Therefore, you shouldn't be doing it and if they find out that you are doing it which they usually won't unless you give a good reason to like a lot of bad customer service so first thing you should know give good customer service i always preach about that but in 2019 you can't even do drop shipping if they find out that you are they'll lower your search your uh, listings in the searches therefore you won't get as much views or as much sales or they'll suspend or ban your account so that is policy you can read up on eBay, it's in their polls. Most people, they don't actually care that it's coming from the other suppliers. Like if they see it in an Amazon box, only one out of maybe a hundred people that get that Amazon box will actually say something and not complain. I have no negative feedback right now, but it's not worth getting those people who are gonna be mad. Unlike if you had a Shopify store where it was made for drop shipping, they aren't going to complain about a regular box because it's not going to be from an Amazon or Walmart. It's going to be from an actual supplier, usually in China, but I'm going to be doing USA only for faster shipping, customer service. The third point I want to talk about is how expensive eBay drop shipping is. A lot of people will tell you it's like the cheapest thing to get into. And yes, it is. It's cheap to get into. But in the long run, it is expensive as hell. Because not only do you have to pay 10 to 11, sometimes 15% of the cut of every sale to eBay, you also have a 2.9% fee for PayPal, but soon they're going to be changing PayPal. So we don't even know, I forget what they're going to, but we don't know if the fees could get higher. So it's 2.9% to PayPal, usually at least 10 to eBay. You add that up, that's already a good amount. If your profit margins are low, that's already a lot. And if you're a dropshipper, a lot of time you're going to promote your listings to get above the competition, which takes another few bucks out of your sale usually, another percentage. And there's another 30 cents to PayPal uh, for every sale. Then you, when you take money and put it into your account from PayPal, there's usually a fee for that too. The fees are ridiculous. To get straight to the point, the fees are just ridiculous for every listing and it's not really worth it in the long run for profit margin unless it's an item where you can have a huge profit margin from home that you're selling it yourself drop shipping just doesn't seem like the best idea when it comes to expenses the fourth and final point i want to talk about and the one that aggravates me the most is time with ebay unless you're using a software for everything and even if you do softwares mess things up a lot and that's why they're unreliable so it's better to do stuff yourself the time that it takes to do eBay stuff is not worth the outcome. Even if you put in like five, six, seven hours a day to eBay, at the end of the month or week or whatever, depending on how good you are drop shipping, maybe you make like a thousand dollars or something like that. It's not worth the time that you're putting in. When you could have a Shopify drop shipping store, which yeah, 
will take like a month to start up and start actually getting the sales. But you have a store where all you have to do is find the products and get the traffic. That's all you got to do. Get the traffic, fulfill the orders. A lot more time manageable and just updating the store. With eBay, you don't have a store, you don't have to worry about that. But the time for listing, for doing the research is just chaotic. Those are my four points on why eBay dropshipping is probably not worth it anymore in 2019. I hope this helps you guys decide whether you want to continue doing it, start doing it, or not do it at all. I would recommend, if you're going to get into Shopify dropshipping, first start off with this. Maybe maybe not necessarily dropshipping, but just learn how to sell stuff, anything on eBay from home. Whether you're going out buying stuff and reselling it for hire, just learn it. Learn the marketplace, then get into that. Soon I'm going to have videos on Shopify and more eBay stuff. Maybe, depending on how much longer I'm going to be doing it. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe. More content, I'll be doing daily uploads now. See you guys in the next one. Later.